Welcome. All right, so we're getting into some fun problems. They're just some more factoring techniques, and that's why I've kind of done a lot of these examples. So we can get used to you know, how, again, to factor and, and solve everything. Because really, the operation of dividing rational expressions is not really overly complicated. What we're doing is we're just changing it to a multiplication problem by multiplying by the divisor's reciprocal. And then multiplication, we just multiply out, multiply through, and then simplify our solution. But the main important thing I think that gets a lot of students with their hiccups is simplifying our terms. So we have a trinomial here, so I'm going to have to factor that. And what I'm going to do, since my a is 1, I need to determine what two terms multiply to give me 32, but then add to give me 12. So I can rewrite that in my factored form of x plus 8 times x plus 4. In my denominator, I see that I only have a binomial. So I can't factor it the same way. I can't, um, what, I can't factor it in my exact same way. I'm going to look at it and just say, all right, well, what two terms do these two share? And you could say, well, they both share a 6. So if I factor out a 6, I'm going to be left with an x plus 7. Okay. Now, when dividing, remember we're going to reciprocate this. So now my x squared minus 49 is going to be in my numerator. And my x squared plus 4x is going to be in my denominator. And again, we want to simplify them. So I change this to a multiplication problem. And then now, I'm going to factor x squared minus 49. And when we see a binomial with the difference, and we see the first term is squared, we want to determine, is the second term a squared number, which 49 is. So I know I can rewrite this as a difference of two squares. All right. And that was pretty basic. And that's one thing is really making sure you know your special factoring techniques. Then up here, um, I know that I can factor that because remember we flipped it, so that's now in the denominator. And I see that these two share an x. So when I factor on an x, I'm left with an x plus 4. Now, I don't need to have so much separation. I could write these all next to each other. And then, since we're going across multiplication, anything that is on the numerator and the de divide de denominator that is the same, we can divide out to 1. So here I have x plus 4 divided by x plus 4. That divides out to 1. Here I have x plus 7 divided by x plus 7. That divides out to 1. So therefore, in my numerator, all I'm left with is an x plus 8 times an x minus 7. And then in my denominator, I'm just left with a 6x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you divide rational expressions. Thanks.